Hey, welcome back to GB Guns. Thanks for joining us. You may have seen some of the campaign information out there of Begin with Bursa. It's basically saying, hey, these guns are super affordable and pretty nice for what, for what you pay. In fact, I'd say they're, uh, they pretty much all could be going for a whole lot more, especially the TPR-9C. Man, I love this gun. And the BP-9CC, which has been one of my carry guns. Of course, the Thunder 380 with more than a million sold. So, uh, some people who know these guns love them. Some people haven't heard of them or haven't tried them before. Burgundy Bomber, Maddie AR, hadn't tried any of these before since I reviewed them all well before they joined the channel. So I brought them out to uh, have a Bursa day. And you'll see all three of us shoot these a little bit and then talk about our thoughts on each of these three guns because they each kind of have a separate use or intent uh, or could be used all the same. One is 380, these two are 9mm. Let's bring in that footage and take a look at the guns. So my impression uh, when shooting this gun is it's a little bit bulkier actually in the grip than I than I generally would like, uh, or I guess more than I'm generally used to. Um, I'm a big fan of having the decocking button just for safety purposes, just for uh, the ability to go from single action to double action to uh, not quite ready to shoot at all. <laughs> um, recoil was really good. The trigger pull was lighter than expected but was but was uh easy except when you're in uh double action and then it's really hard uh or it takes forever i guess um but it's a really good gun i'm a big fan of the laser uh my thoughts on this bursa is a super comfortable gun the grips are really broad, which helps disperse the recoil. So it was a uh, minimal recoil, felt great. This gun is ambidextrous uh, with the reversible mag release. Um, we did shoot in both single action and double action, which I really enjoyed both of them. I don't shoot a lot in double action. And so playing around with this gun, um, my accuracy was actually just as great with double action as single action. I also like that if you are going to use it for an everyday carry gun, that you do have the double action option for safety reasons. So overall, this was just an awesome gun. So the TPR-9C, when it first came out, very popular. A lot of you were very excited about this gun, and for good reason. I mean, for the, for the price, you're getting ambi controls, you're getting a gun that's comfortable in the range and still feasible to carry. The breadth, the width of the grip, as we've all mentioned, um, really helps disperse that recoil energy and makes it shootable. And 13 plus one capacity is sort of the Goldilocks. Uh, one ups a lot of the other really popular guns. You've got a rail for throwing a laser on as we've got, or a light or light laser combo, what have you. Uh, and it's, it's built like a tank. You can really see the military pedigree in the Bursa build of the TPR-9C. The, uh, the double action, you know, does require some, let's see if I can go from this side with my left hand, some discipline to hold the gun steady all the way through there, but when it breaks, it just kind of surprises you, which prevents you from mashing that first one. And uh, as mentioned before, that is great for personal defense and carry, because when your heart's pounding and there's chaos going on and you've drawn this gun, the last thing you want is someone to bump into you, you bump your toe, whatever. I know trigger finger discipline, but sometimes you're ready for it, you get excited, and on a single action, could be easy to torch that round off when you're not intending it. Whereas having it in that double gives you that 
that moment to pause and think about it and come back. Also, because it's single action, double action, as you saw, if you go to fire and the round doesn't go off, rather than tap, rack, flip, you can pull again, get that second strike chance. Huh. <laughs> Short and crisp. This gun has no grip to it. It is super slippery. If you're wearing any kind of gloves or like I tend to wear these little things over my thumb. Uh, so I had to stop halfway through and, and adjust that. But overall, I like the size of the grip because it fits better in my hands. Uh, I feel like I have more control over it because it's a little bit smaller. The recoil is manageable. The trigger is light. And for me, that means squirrely because it means you have to really concentrate and be right on target when you have your finger on that trigger because it's going to go off with very minimal pressure. Um, sights are good and easy to see and, and overall it's a good gun. My thoughts on the Versa BP9CC. Um, really narrow grips and the trigger is really light so the gun is definitely a lot snappier. Um, I personally like a broader grip so that it helps disperse the, the weight of the recoil. Um, the mag release is ambidextrous, does carry eight plus one. Um, there is no external safety, and so I definitely wouldn't suggest it for a first time um, shooter or for someone who's new to concealed carry. But overall, it's a great gun, so I enjoyed it. So the BP9CC has been a favorite of mine. It, uh is in my carry rotation because I've been able to carry this, believe it or not, in slacks and a button down shirt tucked in. It's just so incredibly thin. Now that thinness does mean that you feel a little bit more recoil, but because of the longer stock to it, even I can get my whole hand on it, which is another thing that I liked about it. That and the ambi mag release, because sometimes I prefer to just use my middle finger than to reach with my thumb. The trigger though, uh, as has been said, and I said in my initial review of it, I don't recommend for a new shooter. It, uh, it is a wonderful, superb, light, crisp trigger. Great for marksmanship, um, a potential liability for someone who's not quite fully comfortable and trained with the gun as a carry gun. So that is a consideration, but if you're looking for a small concealable gun that's going to have that range king type trigger, uh, the BP9CC is your answer.
begin with bursa i can definitely identify with that because of the three of us i am the least experienced shooter so this one was probably the easiest for me to manage uh 380 caliber is great to shoot the recoil is minimal the size of the gun fits nicely in my hand and it's also uh, a good concealed carry gun um, the sights were really easy to see even in the in the sunny day that we were having uh, and the trigger squeeze was really uh, it was really manageable and easy to pull back, but without being too light, like we've seen in some of the other Bursas. Um, definitely a good beginner gun, good starter gun. I love it. All right, my thoughts on the Bursa Thunder 380. I absolutely love this gun and I highly recommend it, especially for first time shooters and especially for women. The grip on this is super comfortable, great ergonomics. I can fit my entire hand on the gun, as you can see. Um, it does have an external safety if you're going to conceal carry it. Um, trigger control was extremely manageable. I was extremely accurate with my shooting today. I even practiced uh, doing single-handed shooting and I hit multiple on the bullseye so it's very very accurate and reliable. Um, overall the sights they're really small but you could easily acquire your target so great sights on it so overall this is just a, a fabulous gun especially to start off with yeah. all right begin with bursa is a campaign for good reasons as both Matty ar and burgundy bomber pointed out um, this is a comfortable gun it's very controllable has an excellent predictable trigger uh, which works well for training and learning how to handle recoil of which there is very little with the 380. You know, even though it's a blowback action which is meaning that the slide is only only the mass of the slide and the spring weight is what keeps it closed the recoil operates the gun also means that the barrel is fixed and so since the barrel's not moving at all the magazine's not moving at all you're going to get repeatable performance feeding that round igniting and setting that round off you also have a second strike capability which is great with this if you ever have a hard primer and it doesn't go off um, size of the grip though it worked well for both Maddie and AR Maddie AR and Burgundy Bomber's smaller hands um, my banana hands still fit on the gun so it's a uh, an amazingly universal pistol I hope you found that educational um, and maybe got you interested in thinking about one of these things. Uh, if you want to know more and the details on the individual guns, check out on our channel page. Just search within the channel page for Bursa and you can see both the tabletop and the shooting impression videos for all of these guns. Thanks for watching.